Hi, Eileen the Fam here. And today we are going to do exercise six. Just two more to go when this series is done. Um, again, just for a recap, this series is um, activities to help manage depression, anxiety, and loneliness. And in the previous videos, we covered exercise, um, meditation, yoga, caring for a pet, gardening, all of them things and their benefits on your physical and mental health and how they can help. Now, today's video, we're going to cover volunteering. And then there's just two more to go, which would be tomorrow night and the night after. And then um, later on, I'll probably be doing a series on something else. But I'm also going to be doing other things, like I'm going to do some nature walks. And I'm going to be um, also doing some exploring, like... Um, going downtown to the river walk and things like that. But let's get on with this series because this is very important and this is near and dear to my heart because I know there's a lot of people out there that are suffering and can use this information. That's why I wanted to do it. Now, when you volunteer, you're giving a, a part of yourself up and when you're helping somebody, your cares seem very minute compared to what somebody else is going through. You don't even think about yourself because you're giving 100% of yourself, okay? And there's many ways you can volunteer. Um, take, for instance, for those of you that like living in an apartment where you can't have a pet, a volunteering in a pet shelter taking care of a pet, walking it for them at the pet shelter, feeding it, cleaning it, is a good way to get to that exercise if you can't, you know, if you're not allowed to own a pet. And so, you know, you could do that. If you love people, you can volunteer at a hospital. Um, you could help out at like a food bank. There's many, many different ways you can volunteer. But doctors have found that if you can volunteer 10 hours or less a month, so that's not a lot of time in a month, okay? So you don't have to do volunteer like eight hours a day every day. Just 10 hours a month will give you a lot of mental health benefits. Um, it's a, when you volunteer, it's, oh, uh, how can I explain this? When you volunteer and you give of yourself and you're helping somebody, you just have this overwhelming feeling of happiness in you, um, of joy. You don't want money. You're just happy to see somebody else happy. And your problems just don't exist at that time. You know, it gives you a sense of uh, meaning. It gives you... It releases endorphins inside of you that it's needed to, for you to be happy. Um, it releases health endorphins. Um, this, it is just so wonderful to... Be, to help somebody out. Um, if I could, if I had transportation, I would probably end up volunteering in a pet store. I mean, I have a dog, but I love animals. So I would end up doing that and working at a hospital because I've done that already and I really, really enjoyed it, being able to help our veterans. I mean, it's a good way to give back. It's not going to cost you anything but a little bit of time. You get much more um, value out of it than a dollar, you know, than money. Just the feeling and the accomplishment and everything that you get when you volunteer is just so worth it. And, you know, like I said, it's... You don't have to do it for a long period of time. You take 10 hours, divide it by 30 days. 
that's not even a half hour a day. You know, even if you go and volunteer for your neighbor down the street, you see that, you know, she needs her yard mowed. Go and volunteer to mow a yard. You don't have to do anything big. It's the thought of helping somebody when in need, and it does not have to be money-wise. You just see somebody, you see them taking groceries out of a vehicle, and they're having a hard time because there's a lot. Volunteer your help. That's all it takes. You benefit from it more than they will. Okay? So, remember to add this in to your daily routine. You see somebody, just volunteer five minutes of your time. You, you know, whatever. Help somebody. It's a great feeling. And we always remember, you matter. You're one of a kind. You are made uniquely. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. You are so special. You mean something to somebody. And right now that somebody's me because each one of us is made uniquely. And each one of us matter. There's not one of us here that doesn't matter. Your life is important to me. Your feelings are important to me. I love you. You're in my prayers and thoughts. And until tomorrow, I love you. Bye.